class welcome to adota farm in today's video i would like to share with you guys on what and what can you feed your grass cutter during dry season what and what can you feed your grass cutter during dry season yes there's a particular video that i posted yesterday and on someone dropped a, I mean, on a, a message to me on asking okay on i'm, I'm like I, like i always talked about how profitable grass cutter business is but i haven't said anything regarding to their feeding during dry season you know i know that a lot of people um, might have been wondering what you can feed your grass cutter during dry season all right so this particular video will help you guys to solve that particular on um, question or issue you know grass cutter they are on herbivorous animals so they feed both on fresh and dry grass the feed both on fresh and dry grass that is one um one of the things i will tell you about grass cutter today so that is the reason why you can discover that people that are raising grass cutter or that are doing grass cutter for commercial purpose are also feeding their grass cutter during dry season so what it does is they will store their their grass you know during dry season that means during rainy season there are some more that they can store and you know during dry season they will, they will almost all the grass will be dry by that time right so they can still feed them that dry grass all right so in, in such a way that even in good farming we, we, there, there is something we call silage whereby you can do silage i mean to store a particular grass for dry, on dry season time all right so you can do the same thing for grass water and if at all you don't have that um, experience or probably you don't know how to do that silage you can still keep you can still give them the dry grass that will still feed on it I know that grass cutter feed on 70% of grass, so almost all their feed is grass, alright? And they can also feed on leguminous crops like the maize, like the, the sweet potato, on the cassava peel, both the dried and the... I didn't advise to give them the, the fresh one for cassava peel, but for me, you can give them both the dried maize and also fresh maize. They are going to consume them, alright? So both during dry season, you can still feed your grass cutter dry grass. They are going to consume it. Can feed something like the pumpkin, which is um, almost everybody knows. No, I mean knows it as fugu. You can feed them during dry season with that particular stuff, and they will consume them. And at the same time, you know that grass cutter has on um, a concentrate feed, a pellet feed, whereby they formulate for them and they consume by themselves. All right. So you can buy that concentrate feed to hide it. All right. So during dry season time, you can also feed them that concentrate feed. Okay, you can just add probably just a bowl of the concentrate, probably with your hands. You can just fetch it twice and pour it inside their what their feeding truck, and they will consume it. All right. So that particular feed helps to boost them and make sure that they grow faster and produce more kids. All right. So I wouldn't advise giving them always. No, probably once in a week or twice in a week just to make sure that their their feed on I mean on, on ration is balanced. And you know that grass cutter consume fruit as well they consume fruit so any type of fruit that you give to your grass cutter they will consume it you can give them sugar cane and, and, and i know that they love sugar cane a lot give them sugar cane they will feed on it any type of grass all right grass like the guinea grass the the napia grass the elephant grass they will feed on it both the dried and the fresh one they are still going to feed on it and one more thing I want you guys to know regarding that feeding aspect is if you are feeding your grass cutter, make sure you keep to time. It's very, very important. Make sure you keep to time. Alright? Probably if you are feeding at 7 o'clock in the morning, keep to that time. Make sure that whenever it's 7 o'clock, you have taken their feed to them already. And if you are feeding them twice in the day, feed them 7 o'clock in the morning and also 7 p.m. at night. It's very very important keep to time don't um, change their, their feeding time right and if you are feeding them twice in or three times in a day make sure you keep to time it's very very important if you do that your grass cutter they will grow fast and they will produce more all right so and i hope that this video will help you guys to pick out the question that you are asking that what can you feed your grass cutter during dry season like i said put the fresh grass that i give to them during rainy season you can still give it to them during dry season they are going to consume it all right they are still going to consume it and i told you guys about their pellet feed so if you want to get it do what let me know and if you are looking for a colony of grass cutter to start with probably if you want to start of the business and see how profitable it is or and see how you can manage it please do what to reach out to me and i'll help you out with that so i have an ebook that you can go through for a beginner if you want to go into this business 
So at the end of this tutorial, you drop my contact list. You can go through that if you just to have a clear view or to have the full information regarding this business before you invest your money into it. So please, if today is the first time of coming across my YouTube channel, please do all to keep on subscribing to my YouTube channel. Turn the notification bell to be notified when I drop a new videos for you. And if you think that this video is good enough, please kindly give me a thumbs up and bye.